hello everyone after a long time i am back today we are going to learn about protein preparation so if uh, we are thinking to do a uh, molecular docking we have to uh, download a protein and you can easily download it from rcsb pdb or uh, database uh, i have another video about downloading the protein from rcsb pdb so uh, today uh, i'm not showing that uh, so uh, first of all you have to download uh, a protein from rcsb pdb then i'll show you how to prepare this protein for uh, doing molecular talking first of all you have to go to the discovery studio uh, then open your file uh, what you are thinking to prepare so i'm going to my desired file look at that there's an downloaded file from rcsb pdb there's a pdb file of a protein 5j jet jf okay uh, i'm storing that here look at that you can see here so many protein chains are there uh, that's an a b c so many protein chains are there so uh, which one you have to select first of all you have to know about that which one you are thinking to select uh, to know that uh, uh, yeah that's true that you have to uh, do everything rationally so uh, as it's an in silico uh, everything you have to do rationally uh, to do rational drug design so you first of all you have to know uh, what protein you are thinking to uh, what kind of chain and which chain is your desired chain so to know that you have to go to the uh, rcsb pdb look at that uh, that is the protein what i have already downloaded and i stored it in discovery studio uh, if you go below then look at that this protein have a lots of chain here and which chain i have to select there's there's some dilemma okay so what do you have to do you have to go below here look at that that's a ligand uh, if you have any standard drug uh, which is binded with this protein so at the time you uh, can consider those binding uh, chain uh, which is already uh, binded with the drug uh, so uh, there is no standard drug so i am considering only the ligand file look at that this ligand uh, has already binded on c there's a chain c so i am thinking to select the chain c and if you have a couple of chain then you can uh, select only one uh, based on some parameters so, so we are gonna going to delete rest of the protein uh, those are not for us look at that don't do that only c because we are uh, working with dc and click here and press ship and click over there look at that all of the chain i uh, have already selected and that's a delete button you can delete from here and uh, if you're uh, you can delete also from here okay so i'm deleting the those protein and look at that here uh, it has also couple of chain i'm deleting that uh, you have to delete all of them uh, only just not to delete the chain c and you have to keep one thing on your mind that no need to delete water and ligand in this portion okay uh, you just you have to delete only the chains not anything else so that's our desired protein and uh, now you have to save it here uh, from the save as file look at that i'm just clean this protein so i'm saving that as a clean mm, pdb format 
okay now we have to go to the another software let's look at that there's some software of uh, software of swiss institute of bioinformatics and that's in swiss pdb viewer uh, you have to download that and after downloading that it's in free so you can easily download it so just click on op uh, file then uh, open pdb file after that look at that you have to go to the uh, select the only clean one what you have already cleared okay so open that file and look at that uh, here two types of window is here so now uh, I have to work on this window uh, there is our desired protein and <coughs> just click select okay then all uh, th that means you are selecting all the protein uh, sequences and now uh, you have to go to the tool and look at that it has an energy minimization option click over there and look at that here is a uh, another uh, types of window is showing here and there is only uh, already in progressing and you have to wait for a moment look at that uh, it's uh, last of the stage and it has already completed uh, you have to consider this one uh, that is the gromax 43b1 parameters uh, what you need to uh, consider that for your manuscript writing okay then uh, we have completed look at that there is an minimization of what they have done already for our protein so now we have to save it click file and save look at that you have to uh, save on current layer and save here as swiss okay i'm, I'm uh, saving that as a swiss okay uh, it has completed already now we are out of this software now we have to open it again on discovery studio look at that we are opening that on discovery studio that's an which one we we are only consider the swiss one where what we have already minimized okay uh, all the energy have minimized and you should keep one thing on mind that uh no need to add any types of hydrogen and no need to delete any water they have already deleted all the water what this protein was before uh, minimization okay so there is no uh, water and uh, no need to add any hydrogen here you can easily uh, look at that here two different chain and uh, those are the sequences amino acids and now what do you have to do and the main point is that's an ligand file okay so uh, look at that that's an ligand file that is showing here we, de we didn't delete it before because uh, if we delete uh, this ligand file uh, before uh, at the first uh, first part uh, when we uh, opened this uh, protein in discovery studio if we delete it at the time then uh, it occurred some breakdown of the protein so we didn't uh, have done uh, we didn't do that so now we have to delete it right now and now we are deleting this protein look at that this protein is ready for molecular docking and select that uh, go for file and go for save as you can easily save it on your desired folder where you want to save it now you can write here the prepared okay 